All right, guys, we have some good stuff to talk about today because Tom Henderson dropped a bombshell on us in his recent video. I will have it in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself regarding the future of Call of Duty. Now, he went over some Warzone stuff. He went over Call of Duty Vanguard's multiplayer and zombies. He went over Infinity Ward's Modern Warfare 2 title or sequel for uh, 2022. And he also said that for the year of 2023, Treyarch is working on a Black Ops 2 style type of futuristic Call of Duty. So I know a lot of you guys may be interested in that. I'm kind of intrigued to see what Treyarch will do with a Black Ops 2 style game. But first, I really want to see what Vanguard has in store. And of course, I really would love to see what Infinity Ward have in store for next year as well. If they're going to do a sequel to Modern Warfare, I would love to see that. Now to start this off, I don't have no notes. I won't put nothing up on the screen. I don't want to put I don't want to put his video in the video and you know just like copy and stuff. But the key facts in the video was that he said Call of Duty Vanguard is going to release with only eight launch multiplayer maps. Now this can vary. Take that with a grain of salt. Things always change in office, right? But eight multiplayer maps. This is not regarding the beta. The beta we're most likely gonna play two or three. That's only gonna leave us with either five or six maps that are new to us. He even said there might be a ground war type of modern warfare style, large scale battle, just like how modern warfare's ground war is, which is going to be cool if it's 64 players in total or even more will be great. I think that will be very fun for Call of Duty Vanguard. But the downturn is, he said that it's going to be a Black Ops Cold War 2.0. Now, we already know Cold War doesn't leave a good taste in our mouths. Just because the game feels rushed, it seems like the devs just left it, they don't really talk about it. You know, it doesn't give off a good aura. It was made in the pandemic. I know there's a lot of frustrations making this game, but we cannot have another Black Ops Cold War at launch, especially because even playing just at launch, it was very tough to play. Skill-based matchmaking was at its highest. The game didn't feel finished. The guns were unbalanced. There was bugs and glitches. There was just a lot of problems, and I don't want to see that with Call of Duty Vanguard going into this fall with a bunch of FPS games that are ready to fire on all cylinders. And of course, he said some things about Warzone adding some destructibility, which would be pretty cool. It adds another element to Warzone just to improve the overall replayability of the free-to-play Battle Royale. I'm not a Battle Royale fan, nor a Warzone fan. I, that's just how it is. You know, I'm not, I'm just not a fan. I'm a multiplayer guy. That's just how it is. I'm glad it's here, but I would love some more attention for the multiplayer, you know? But moving on from that, of course, Vanguard is going to be releasing a campaign and the zombies. And he also started to talk about more into the future with Call of Duty. So Infinity Ward is supposedly making a sequel to Modern Warfare, which would be pretty cool. Of course, it's going to be like Modern Warfare 2, but not the Modern Warfare 2 we got back in 2009, you know? And he also said that Treyarch is working on a Black Ops 2 type style game for 2023. I think that's pretty cool, but it depends. You can't really relive the shoes in the glory days of Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is basically, you know, one of the best Call of Duty. So trying to fill those shoes again is going to be pretty tough with the crowd that we have for the Call of Duty community. And of course, if it's going to be riddled with skill-based matchmaking, that's a problem in itself. But I would like to get more in depth with this vi with, with that type of topic. And of course, Infinity Wars game, I would love to talk about that because I have some things I would like to say. But other than that, that's just some of the things that he said. I wish I had some key notes to show up on the screen, but I'm just really reiterating what he said just for some news or just a video for today. But other than that, this is your boy Gunner Two Times bringing you another video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. And I am out.